For children with cerebral palsy, to speed up therapy decision-making, physical therapist Francis George has been testing a practical clinical alternative to laboratory testing to check on body alignment. Her group's research has investigated a 20-point observational method looking at head, trunk, pelvis, arms, legs and feet to find out if clinical assessment could be accurate and reliable enough to help decide how and when to intervene with therapies to improve a child's motor development. The study protocol is known as Clinical Assessment of Body Alignment, CABA. Can you tell me what it was you were trying to do here? Because you've been looking at clinical assessment of body alignment. What is this all about and what were your aims? What was the challenge you were facing? So as a physiotherapist, I've been working with children with complex needs for many years. And what we, uh, one of my big interventions is about managing their posture, their body alignment. So I often use bits like equipment to change their body alignment. But what I struggled with was actually measuring that and measuring that clinically. Um, so this was part of an exploration into how I might do that and development of a tool that therapists could use to measure accurately changes in body alignment in children with cerebral palsy. What did you do in the study that you've just published? Oh, in the study, so I looked at developing some items. So I got in, uh, three researchers, Tina and myself, looked at getting an initial list of items, and we sent that out to um, the specialist interest group of physiotherapists in the UK. And we got 283 responses, and they came, basically rated the items in terms of uh, matching or not to the construct of body alignment. So they were looking at, did those items match what they thought they would measure in body alignment clinically as a physiotherapist. Looking at body al alignment, you presumably were not satisfied with the measures or the protocols available already. So how does your new approach compare with, with what was existing? Well, there are a um, majority of um, research into body alignment is done either using lab-based tests such as um, x-rays or in clinical con in lab conditions, so not in a clinical setting. There are some assessments out there. However, they're quite limited in terms of just looking at just alignment, so whether we're symmetrical or not, so it doesn't look at graded deviations in that alignment or differentiations between left and right side, or it's related to one specific body part or it's a part of a motor assessment. So my main aim was to look at a, a clinical tool that looked at body alignment across lying, sitting and standing, would, de would uh, grade in deviations of body alignment and would denote between left and right sides of the body. And we've been able to see you in action with the lying, sitting and standing. Could you run me through some of the things that are being done? Yeah, so basically you can see between the, the different positions, lying, sitting and standing, that without support, the, the child actually doesn't adopt an optimal alignment. So that's so, the... So in lying, for instance, what happens there? So in lying, you could see that there was more of a frogged position. So you would you would aim to have hips, knees, trunk, leg and feet all in line. But what you see is that it's actually a frog position, so legs out to the side. So I can record that accurately using the CABA. And then what I did was put supports in and improve that alignment. Now, I might not necessarily, necessarily have got it to, to zero, to a neutral position, but I improved it. And that enables me to to um, show the effect having equipment does. Right, so the CABA, the Clinical Assessment of Body Alignment, yeah. is in fact the way you uh, assess how well the child is doing. What about the sitting one? So in the sitting, you could see that the child was leaning forward, particularly at the trunk, and there was some deviation in leg in turning in. So again, you can quantify that really clearly using the CABA. And then actually, when we went into a seating system, you could see the change in that. And actually, alignment was almost optimal. And again, you can quantify that change and you can really clearly um, articulate that to other therapists and to other professionals. How does that stand up in the standing situation then? So in standing, you could see that you would want a nice upright alignment, so head, feet, hips all in a line, but you saw more crouch position, trunk was, trunk was leaning forward. And again, we can, we can describe that position using the CABA very clearly, denoting left and right sides. We then pop them in the stander, and again, you've got much more optimal alignment and you can, you can actually grade and score that change. OK, you had this big survey. What came out of it specifically? So we basically looked at the 20 items of the CABA, so the Clinical Assessment of Body Alignment, and basically the respondents from the therapist rated 19 of the items as, as a high agreement to body alignment. So that showed they had good content validity. There was one item that showed good alignment. So overall, we can conclude that the actual items in the test show a good alignment to the construct of body alignment, which means it's got good content validity. So you have justified your CABA? Your... Well, yes, it's the first step. We've, got good, we've, we've done a really robust development process 
process and we've got good content validity. What we need to do now is look at other psychometric properties, so reliability and uh, re uh, responsiveness to change, and they're in process at the minute. How will this be applied or how could it be applied? So basically it could be applied in clinical practice by any physiotherapist across any setting with a child with CP to look at alignment. It could be to monitor change in alignment, it could be to look at the impact um, at the equipment that the therapist is using has on alignment and from that we can start to bridge the gap between alignment being the foundation of functional movement and evidencing that because we sit or stand or lie children in better alignment their function is improved. So you are confident that by accurately clinically assessing the alignment you can get motor development improved? Yes, very much. And we can detect changes in posture earlier, so changes in body alignment early, and we can actually describe those in a valid, standardised way that we can articulate to other professionals. And this is a process that a physical therapist can do anywhere with children who have any issue with alignment. So what do you think is the big take-home message for clinical uh, physical therapists? Well, the, the CABA, so the Clinical Assessment of Body Alignment, actually provides a practical clinical tool that can help them assess body alignment in children with CP. The thing is, it needs more development to become a reliable and responsive outcome measure, and those um, studies are in progress at the minute. And if you have a child right now, what are the one or two words of advice that you would give therapists right now on this issue and how to do it? So observation is a core part of um, therapist assessment of body alignment. This allows a simple, easy way for you to quantify that and monitor it. Thank you very much. No worries.